What is going on everyone? Joshua with Fish in the Mitten. Out here on a beautiful morning, honestly. It's uh, like 43 degrees, rained all night. It's gonna rain all day today, but we got a good out, couple hour window where it's not going to. So we're gonna try to get out here, see if we can't catch ourselves some fish. I'm hoping the wind stays like this so it doesn't get super choppy out there. If not, we'll just stay tucked back in all these bays. Um, as you can see, the camera's a little shaky, I'm freezing. So without further ado, I know we have an all seasons fishing box for this month that we're gonna go through. And um, yeah, let's see if we can catch some fish on those baits. Let's get out there. Alrighty, everyone. We just made a hard paddle here to the, uh, kind of into this bay here. Wow, I got fish jumping right now. So we're gonna make this quick. I got one, two, three, four, a little island behind me. And we're gonna target, I mean, it's early fall. So you gotta think, they're moving up bait fish or they're pushing up bait fish. So like I just seen a bass jump real up close shallow. We're going to try to target all these shallow points here. Get around all of these islands if we can. But first things first, all seasons fishing box for the month of September. Um, I did go through this this morning because um, it was cold. I wanted to get a few things tied on. So what we got though, we got a jig a little quarter ounce white finesse jig we have a dirty jigs tackle um i think this is a three quarter ounce yeah a three eighth ounce jig there we got which is a really really cool one i seen this in here old school the magnum bass stoppers so i used to fish these growing up all the time but with like the bl all black with the white dot and white stripe they're awesome um I'm not upset to get this because say I was giving this to someone like as a box or a present, this is a bait that I know they can tie on and they're going to catch fish. I mean, they'll catch bluegill, bass, pike, all of it. So that's super cool. Um, we got some Z-Man, what do they call these? The Paddler Z's. So they're scented with some nastiness. I honestly do not, I'm not a big fan of Z-Man plastic. I think the stuff is a mess to work with because it's so rubbery um we got a z-man uh spinner bait uh my gosh i'm freezing spinner bait here it's a double willow like i said i will show you that's actually tied up right here so we got that with that z-man on there i kind of paired those two up together um these are, it's, I've actually never seen these or owned these before. They're like, it's like a trailer hook for frogs. So you can throw it on the hooks on the frog and then you got a trailer in case they're short striking it at all. And then last thing in the box was a big bite bait, a buzz toad. So I've actually never owned one of these, never had one of these. And this thing is sick and it's definitely what I'm gonna be starting off with this morning. Um, as you can see, it's just a toad, really cool colors, and just a single buzz uh, blade on there. So without further ado, I'm gonna start casting, warm up a little. We're gonna see if we can't catch some stuff on this box. And of course, I really, didn't have the camera recording, but this is funny. We kind of switched over to a, just a red, black lipless, and this little dude took it. This is definitely the smallest. Oh, okay, okay. Smallest bass I've caught all year. Get the players out. Come on. And he engulfed this whole front treble. I mean, engulfed it. All 
right. Well, there we go. Little tiny guy. See you later. <laughs> so yeah, I just shut the camera off, switched baits, threw like two casts in that little thing. So I guess we'll leave the camera going because it looks like a lipless crankbait's kind of where it's at. But yeah, this is, uh, I don't even know what brand. Just a red and black, a little bit of yellow on the belly, lipless crank. <clears throat> no skunk. But yeah, I literally was just throwing it right in the middle ripping it through the weeds. But yeah, I mean, this is what we're fishing this through. So I was ripping it through those weeds and he hit it right at the boat. That's a good fish. What do we say? Right on the lipless. Rip it through those weeds. Don't get off. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Got him. There we go. Good thing the players are still out. Man, these are some good hooks, but not bad. Maybe a little pound. Let's turn the GoPro on for a minute. Maybe get you guys a little release. Not bad. Cool. Let's keep fishing. Ooh. Good fish. All I needed to do was put my smallie spotters on. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a good fish. Please stay pinned. Oh my God, I lost him right at the boat. It's a good large mouth. Dang it. There we go. Stay down. Stay down. And he spit it again. at the boat. These hooks are sharp. I don't understand. Alrighty, everyone. Well, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. It's starting to rain. I am frozen to the bone. Um, it wasn't a bad day. I mean, we caught a couple fish. We lost a couple good ones, which I am definitely upset about. Uh, but we also got some new baits. So just like a recap, we got the uh the bass stoppers little worm there got a couple jigs 
got the Z-Man plastics. Um, we got the Z-Man chatterbait, so that's like the whole setup there with the plastic on it. You got your frog little uh, trailer hook. And then we got the, what was the last one here? Oh, the buzz toad. So really cool baits. Obviously tough time of the season. Tomorrow is October 1st. So we're in that weird transition phase. Um, it looked like all they wanted today was the lipless, but it's really starting to come down now. So we're gonna call it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And as always, we'll catch you all next time. Peace.